right, we're doing something a little bit different. Hold on, let me set this camera up. We're going we'll do goose something. hunting. Uh, no, we're not going goose hunting. This is a goose hunting channel normally, but we're going picking morales. All right. Nice. Right now, it is just the end of May, so the morales have been popping for a couple of weeks, right? Yeah. Is that right? Yep. They're very, they're definitely getting towards the later season part. We'll, we'll probably find ducks quite a few mature ones. Yeah. Already. So, this is my brother, by the way. He scouted a few locations, super secret locations. We're not going to tell you where it is. Yeah, you... Confidential, you're never going to go there. You're never going to find it, so don't even try. Um, but yeah, Kenton's going to take us there and we're going to do some picking. Um, you're going to come along. We're trying to beat this rain north of us here so we don't get poured on. But we've got rain jackets and umbrellas and stuff. So yeah, yeah. come along. This is going to be pretty fun. Oh yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Maybe we'll see some ducks and geese too. That's. <laughs> That's the only reason I'm here, but no, I'm joking. Ooh, give her. Currently in parts of Manitoba, it's like flooding. There's lots of people doing flood work, especially southeastern Manitoba. Yeah, I don't think we can cross Ooh, here. Yeah, I don't think we'll cross that, but... Park right here. Yeah. So what's our essential gear we're taking here? What do you got there? I got my biscuit. <laughs> A basket and a knife. That's all we need. <laughs> I don't want this rain to go away. What? Who nests, Holy. Who nests out in the open like that? Oh, nice. Ooh. Oh, that's the nice of the shit. Yeah, she's coming here shed hunting, not morale hunting. How far do you want to go in here? Might have to go wait out this rain. Yeah, Yeah, these are pretty mature. Too mature to pick? Yeah, they're pretty soft already. I think we'll leave them. Let them spore out, man, more for next year. This one's too mature too? This yeah, one looks better. Look at the color, it's already drying up a bit. Okay, so they just chewed on it. Yeah. We're not the only ones eating these things. Ooh. Get the inside of the car wet. All right, quick change of plans. We went back to that first spot and uh, there was just a few morales in there, a few uh, that were too mature to pick. We found this nice shed, but uh, the, the storm's kind of moving off to the east of us, so we're gonna kind of backtrack to the west here and see if we can go to a different spot where it's not raining. Um, but uh, yeah, kind of put a dampener on things. But we'll find a spot where it's not raining and then we'll uh, get back in the bush and do a bit of walking, find a few more of our routes. So I basically was in here four days ago and I saw one or two morales that were just starting to pop. Mm -hmm. And there should be a, a nice flush in here. Uh, there's usually a pretty nice crop in this little area. It's It's been a nice area in the last four or five years. There have been mushrooms in here. Mm -hmm. So you've been coming in here repeatedly? Oh yeah, big time. Okay. I'm gonna grab these two. There's two isolated ones. See those. I just hit that one. Oh, that's a nice fresh morale. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that, those are nice. High quality for sure. Oh, they're everywhere now. Those are nice, man. Look how big those are. Yeah, those are really nice. And they're huge. That's a beauty. Like that. That's how mushroom enthusiasts do it, hey? <laughs> well, I would love to know how to replicate that. Except for I'm not God. Yeah. So, so if you're, uh, if you don't know this already, this guy's uh, pretty into mushrooms. Yeah. So he makes molds of all kinds of different mushrooms. Well, he's got a few types that he's working with right now. He makes I molds of them, of them and he sells them uh, basically to taxidermists, to any outdoor enthu enthusiasts at Ken Mushroom Art. That's where they can get a hold of you. Do you have a phone number? 
I don't. <laughs> <laughs> he's, oh, also, he's, on, <laughs> he's also, he's also, I'm also looking for a girlfriend for him. So uh, yeah, I'll put a phone number on the video. I'm joking. I got, this year I've picked probably half a dozen spots that are exactly like this. Mm -hmm. This balsam, balsam poplar. poplar. High ground, low area. Like there's people out there that know what mushrooms associate with. It's just that if you spend time out here, you notice certain trends. The way I've noticed it is there are certain dead roots from these trees mm -hmm. that will flush with like six or seven or ten morels really tight on the root. That's a dead giveaway that they're associated, like the mycelium is associating is attached to the root. Yeah. So, and once you know that, it's... You kind of start to target those areas, hey? Oh, yeah, and they, you can yeah. spot I'll it really easily. I'll walk through here and I'll look for balls and poplars and we'll walk straight to a patch. Yeah, yeah. And you will walk right into a patch of morales at times. Not all the time, like you, there's a lot... Like if the mycelium isn't there, then you will you will not have morales growing there. Mm. We got right to the edge of this patch of balsam poplar and it's we kind of lost our trail of morale so there was just a patch i don't know it's how, how big is it in here oh, you no know, 50, 50 yards yeah squared and uh there was a bunch of morales in there with the balsam poplar so, yeah it's more like a low lying area on this ridge yeah it's kind of like a it's not it's really when we say ridge. when we say it's low lying yeah when we say low lying area it's not really like a, a wet spot oh no it no can't moisture. be a wet spot if, if, if you see visible wet you're in the wrong place all right let's uh kind of shift that way try yeah. to find another zone let's, let's try and find a few more We just walked up a few hundred meters or so on top of a different ridge just to look around, see if we can find some more. Found one nice one here. We'll just fan out. If there's one, there might be more. Yep. There's quite a few in here, so let's pick a few of these. I'll sneak this way here as well. Mm. Oh, this is a good patch. And they're all pretty fresh, eh? Oh, Most yeah, of them. A, they're pretty nice. They've been here a little bit, but they're definitely still a high quality as well. Yeah, very nice. Oh, look at that one. Ooh. There. That's a handful, that one. There's one right here. In there, there's four or five. Wow. Look at all these. So there's, hold on, there's one here. There's one right there. There's one right here. There's one right here. There's one right there. There's one right there. One right there. Oh yeah, there's a pair. 
Here we've got the twins. Wow. This spot was worth coming to. See these balsam poplars? We're in balsam poplar again. The man's not wrong. What about 25 morels flushed? Like right in the roost system. Yards, yeah. mm. They definitely were the mycelium is definitely hosting off of these. That's the face of a happy man right there. <laughs> That'll make you happy. Well, there you have it. We're back out of the bush. It turned into a nice bush walk towards the end there. We got through a few patches that we knew about, and then we did some extra walking to get to a patch that and actually producing, produced, yeah. Produced 30 beautiful morels. Anyway, you can stay tuned for part two, where uh, we'll be hunting... Uh, deadheads. <laughs> not deadheads. We're not looking for deer antlers. We just happened to stumble on a few. We'll be looking we'll be for, for uh, lobster. Lobster mushrooms. Oh, or yeah. Canada oh, yeah, geese. Yeah, yeah. Totally. I'm excited. Lobster mushrooms coming right up. We might do a lobster mushroom video. Yep. Potentially. Can, we'll see how they like this one feel first. It. You can feel it. He's the mushroom guy, I guess. I'm the goose guy. I can feel it in my bones. It's gotta be a good duck year too. All this water around. Oh yeah. Anyway, signing out. Peace.